So it is true that cancer cells preferentially use glucose for their fuel. However, that's true for every single cell in your body. So your body has a lot of different mechanisms to keep a certain level of glucose in your bloodstream for energy. And so your body can use stored glucose in your liver. And if you run out of your stored glucose, it can also break down your muscles and convert that protein into glucose. Your body can also convert some dietary protein into glucose as well. Limiting carbohydrate in your diet doesn't necessarily mean that you are limiting the glucose that gets to the cancer cell. There's no great way to drastically limit the amount of carbohydrate in your diet without limiting the amount of energy you as a whole person get. When we're talking about limiting sugar in your diet, what we're really talking about is limiting the added sugar listed under carbohydrate on the food label. Not necessarily limiting foods with naturally occurring carbohydrates like whole grains and fruits. Those foods are super important. They have a lot of vitamins and phytonutrients, and they also have a lot of fiber, which protects against a variety of diseases.